Good afternoon to our listeners. Welcome to the fourth Industrial Revolution here on SA4IR podcast. You're joining me and my co-host, Braneo, here. And uh, yeah, welcome back, Braneo. Welcome back. No, thank you very much, Ntogozo. And uh, we are excited again. Another yeah. podcast, another episode to discuss this uh, important topic called the fourth industrial revolution uh, as you had said today we have a special guest uh, somebody that uh, will also put help us put some meat into this whole um, movement called the fourth industrial revolution and we're totally excited to have her sne introduce yourself how are you doing over that side Good day, everyone. Good day, listeners. I'm good. And how are you? We're good. We're good. We're good. And we're so excited to have you on the podcast. You're actually our first guest. So trust me, excited is exactly what we are today. I'm very excited. In fact, I'm very flattered. Tell us more about yourself. Where are you, Sne? And what do you do? And how is it that you are here? Are you a small business owner? Are you employed somewhere? Are you doing something? Who's Snedlanda exactly? Okay, my name is Snedlanda Mazibogo, Sne for short. Mm. I'm a small business owner. Yes. Um, I run a business called Infinite Creation Events. Wow. So okay. what we do? Yeah. Um, what we do basically is um, we design um, digital invitations. We also offer a full range of event stationery, and we also do gifting just for about any event. Digital so invitations, we okay. Small, yeah. mm. we, we started very small in um, 2015 and we've just been building this business and we um, officially registered our company uh, this year in March. So we've been operating from March and uh, it's been an incredible journey, you know, learning so much about business, learning so much about um, running a business, running a company. Um, interacting with the different types of people, the customers. So, yeah, that's where we are at right now. We are based in Midrand. Uh, we're also based in the Northern Cape at the moment. Wow. But uh, we're more than happy to work with anyone worldwide. And I think that's just the beauty of technology. You're able to connect with people all around the world. Exactly. So, yeah, it doesn't mean that just because we're based in Midrand, we're only de- dealing with um, customers that are based to Midrand as well. No, we, we connect with people in Durban, in Limpopo, anywhere around the world. So that's just the beauty of technology nowadays. That's fantastic. You talked about digital invitations. Like for someone like me, I don't host a lot of things. All I know about invitations is that it's normally like in a gift card sort of, uh, not gift card, man, like those flyer type things. What's a digital a invitation? Card. So a digital invitation, it's it's not your typical hard copy or a card that you can physically hand over to someone. Okay. It's something, as I said, dealing with technology, something that uh, um, I can send via my phone to someone maybe who's in the USA. Wow, okay. Just as an example. Mm. Yeah, sending by means of social media or by means of email. So it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to meet at a particular place for me to hand over this piece of paper to you. So it's digital, meaning it's mm. it's in your phone or it's on your computer and you can just send it electronically. That's incredible. So basically, if, if for example, I'm running a company and, you know, it's end of the year and the end year functions. So basically, a business could actually use your services to actually uh, uh, tell people about the end year function that they'll be having, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And I, I think that's just the beauty of these digital invitations, because we also realized in our research that, you know, um, for example, if you're planning a wedding, yeah. it's, it takes a lot of time. I mean, there's so much that goes into planning a wedding. I mean, you've got to meet different types of people and we realize time is of the essence. So you don't have enough hours in a day to be mm. going from one place to another, you know, booking appointments, doing this. So while you are busy dealing with other things, we figured it's best. Uh, if we do this digital invitation for you because, you know, we don't have to meet the 
particular point, we don't have to set up an appointment. We can just chat via WhatsApp or whatever um, social media platforms. It makes it so much easier so that while you can carry on with your other businesses while we're busy doing these um, digital invitations for you. And when we're done, it's just as easy as clicking a button and sending to the person. So it saves a lot of time That's and incredible. a lot of cost. I mean, yeah. That's incredible. I could probably ask so many questions because as you were talking right now, um, I'm just having questions upon questions. But you know what? I think the best thing is that uh, we need to give people your details so that whatever questions I haven't asked, yeah. they can ask you directly. So where can people get a hold of you, Sne? Oh, yeah, sure. So they can contact us or WhatsApp us on this number, 061 mm -hmm. 471 8039. Okay, and on social media, where can they find you? On social media platforms, we are on Facebook and um, Instagram. They can find us uh, at Infinite Creations. Our email address is infinitecreations at gmail.com. So fantastic. our creations is, is spelled um, C R mm -hmm. 8 T I O N S. Or 8, right? C R 8. Eight. Oh, got you. That's catchy. That's catchy. Wow, Sneh, you've actually introduced us to something that, uh, for me, I have not been aware of, that, you know, you actually have things called digital invitations. And some of the stuff that you were talking about, Pranel, is any of this familiar to you? Are we now really in the fourth industrial revolution where you don't have to be printing out stuff to invite people to your things? Sneh, hi, again. Um, Hi, in, indeed, this is exciting. Uh, of course, for me as a researcher, you know, um, yeah. as somebody who, is, as I'm doing quite a lot of research around the fourth, fourth industrial yeah. revolution, what, what was the concern between me and um, Ndogozo? And, and as I, I must say again that I'm glad that I can put face to the thoughts. Um, one, when we, we, we established this social portal, uh, mind the word social. The, the idea was that we are finding that a lot of people are not in any a way understanding the, the concept of the fourth industrial revolution. Um, sure. What this is actually uh, to me and you. Uh, but that I mean, for example, a social, an industrial revolution is really a social revolution it will have a, a social impact on it. So what we are finding is that uh, in South Africa, much as you can see that uh, the government has put together uh, a bit of this, a bit of that, councils to try and, 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 and think around what the fourth industrial revolution will mean to South Africa. And I'm glad that you yeah. raised, you know, uh, for me, the exciting part is that the minute you said a digital, invitation. Uh, I said this is a case of the application of the tools of the fourth industrial revolution right there. Mm. And you see how you have thought about it is what is interesting for me because our concern is that there's quite a lot of information that is at a very elite level. You've got councils that are you know, comprised of people that are uh, at, 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 at certain connections in society to be able to, to be picked to make the thoughts around what is actually happening from a policy point of view to say, where do we go in terms of, for example, supporting SMMEs to take advantage of the fourth industrial revolution? For example, you what you are providing is a, actually a very exquisite um, a service you know, costly and not, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, the and cost it's innovative, are innovative. That's, that's the thing. Yeah. And, right. and the, the market choice, the, the, the way you have gone for the market is where, even when I was getting married, one of the costs here was, <laughs> of course, these uh, 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 paper based uh, invitations. And she was talking about the stress levels, even my wife, yes. when we're getting yes. married, yes. The, yes. The, the yes. having to organize things is so stressful and time consuming. Yeah, so, so look at how. Yeah. Look at how your service is not just dealing with digitization. It is actually dealing with how we do things. Yeah, practically. Yeah. Practically, you know what yeah. I'm trying to say. 
So I, I, I was saying to Togo, so my greatest wish is that we find people that can give perspective um, to those who really don't understand how they can apply this fourth industrial revolution and, and its tools. Remember now what we are dealing with is that there's going to be change. Um, yeah. Whether you like it or not, uh, as an employee, there is a workforce implication of, of how these uh, technologies are, are going to be used. Whereas for us as South Africa, because we are really coming fr way, way, way from behind. And the, the it looks, even in the high levels of business, that people are not catching to the consciousness about this uh, fourth industrial revolution and, and what it will mean. You know, Musa, there are people that have lost jobs now in the banking sector. But sure. nobody told them that we are in the middle of automation. You know, that yeah. businesses are facing uh, the pressure to be lean and mean and that, you know, solutions for a new world are being provided. So people are not telling people um, what we are really dealing with here. And sure. maybe even, even quick enough that, like yourself, quick enough to think and apply these technologies. I, I'm just thinking about somebody that in the next five years will lose a job as a, in the bank. Yeah, and 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 yeah. and what what can they do now? You see, your your case, your story, for me becomes that answer. You hear what I'm trying to say? Because uh, yeah. you may yeah. not need to be a high level IT technician or somebody with a background in 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 technology uh, to understand. So so I'm looking forward to asking you one or two questions. Okay, I hope you can you you can entertain me here. Um, first, yeah, first one, tell me, how did you get to this, um, this transition? Uh, was it because you also had been focused on these developments? Or are you somebody that has got quite a passion with technology? Or is it that uh, out of your own research, as you had said, uh, you found that using this technology would give you more mileage to your idea okay so it's a it's a combination i am someone who's passionate about um technology because um even in my line of work where i was working previously mm. i had to to switch my career mm. from um mm. from mining into um, technology. Okay. So I was already working in a digital department. Oh, yes. Hence, I came to to this idea of having um, digital invitations. But also at the same time, my sister and I, who's also a co-founder in this um, in in our company, mm. um, she does a lot of research. Um, she's someone who's very creative. So that being said, she did a lot of research. She likes. Um, what is this Pinterest and she gets a lot of ideas from Pinterest. Yes, yeah. So, actually, yeah, that's a brilliant. So with mm -hmm. that combination of the two of us, then we came up about with we came up we came up with this um, idea of having digital or video invitations. Okay. Wow, that's no, that's that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Uh, let me maybe ask you this question again. Um, Maybe just to test your, your, your conceptual understanding or even let me say, what is your perspective about what we should do uh, with the fourth industrial, industrial revolution, especially South Africa? Because as I was saying to you, there's a lot of papers out, there is a lot of policy work that is being done. For example, to yeah. deal with broad spectrum so that maybe you can expand um, uh, the, the infrastructure so that SMMEs like you can be able to even go to uh, Eastern K, even though, of course, uh, you are able to reach that. But the point is the fastness in which you can you can connect with your customers, your potential customers. Yeah. So, so I just want to yeah. check with you, what does the future hold here? Yeah. Of course, I had made my own argument that, uh, you know, um, this, this social portal is meant to, to create that space for learning, because yeah. uh, the current the current platforms are it looks like to me that are really research based, uh, university based. You know what I'm trying to say, and and yeah. and, and aimed at sharing the thinking uh, at at a much more elite level. 
So for us here that are listening to you, I, 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 I'm not really that tech savvy like you, you know. Um, what can you say to us, you know, what, what, what must make us really um, be conscious here? And, and what, what would you give the government uh, as advice on how to support SMMEs like you so? And I'm very glad you asked it because what I'm finding in my line of work is that as mm. soon as you speak about digital, people don't understand. Okay. Um, mm. I once had a customer call me and ask me where I'm based. And the moment I said I'm in Gauteng, she's like, no, it's not going to work because I'm in Durban. So now uh, I had to take it through and explain to her how digital works and mm. how we are supplying a service such as digital invitation and explain to her that no, um, as long as you've got WhatsApp or an email, we can chat over those platforms. We don't have to see each other face to face. Mm -hmm. It's only mm -hmm. then she started grasping the concept. She's like, oh, so it's that simple. Mm -hmm. So what I'm finding, people really do not understand um, the fourth industrial revolution. And what I've observed is that um, for the past few years, government leaders have been discussing the fourth industrial revolution as the as the next phase of South Africa's development. Mm. But ho however, um, very few of them, even us, seem to have grasped what it is. Mm. So exactly. I feel that the first step exactly. that the South African government has to do is to focus on having on looking at the needs of the citizens. Mm. And then mm. um, we 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 also have issues in South Africa um, challenges where internet connectivity is a major issue. I mean, due to infrastructure um, complications and also the rising cost of data. Exactly, exactly. Mm, mm. Yeah. No, that's so, a... as I understand, South African government has taken a step by establishing a, a government-endorsed commission. Mm. But um, I think what this commission at the moment needs to do is to provide us as a nation with a solid, you know, a real plan of what's going to happen. What is it that they're going to do for us that's in order for us exactly. to, to adapt and to grasp this whole concept of the fourth industrial revolution. That's exactly so I think, it. Yeah. yeah, I think um, they should be having, okay, they are having more talks, but in addition to those talks, they should be showing us some sort of action mm. that they're taking mm. for mm. us to really understand and grasp and to adapt that, you know, we live in an ever-changing world and there's new technologies that are being brought um, forth and how do we then adapt to these technologies? How do we adapt to this change? Because, I mean, change is inevitable. Mm. So it's just a matter of us adapting as new changes come about, we need to adapt. Yeah, if I can jump in here, Namsne, just to just to give my own two cents worth in all of this, because you bring up you bring up a whole lot of uh, important points, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna That's come back to you, Ranel, about this one. That you know, Snezanga, for example, is talking about the reality of where we are versus where we need to be, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you look at small businesses uh, today where the failure rate of small businesses is so high, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we've got an issue of unemployment in the country that, you know, whatever is being done needs to address whatever small businesses need to have, especially if you consider things like data, mm -hmm. that, you know, if that could be sorted out, it could make such a massive difference mm -hmm. on how efficiently mm -hmm. a small business could, small could work. Yeah. You know, we're going to be having a whole lot of guests from different industries and from different uh, backgrounds, giving their own opinions. But I think one of the most fundamental things is the fact that if we don't get that this fourth industrial revolution gives us opportunities that, you know, if we could capitalize on them, we could solve a whole lot of problems by solving the problems that small businesses are having. Mm -hmm. And in so doing, we'll actually go a long way to solving unemployment, the dropping GDP and all of mm -hmm. that. And this is some of the stuff that you talked about in your in your blog as well yes. right now, isn't it? Yes. Sne, I, I mean, I, I, I'm just, uh, you know, call it proud, yeah? Um, you, you, you're still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. You, you know, this is an important day in terms of the data we're trying to, to pull together here and the perspective mm. we want to pull. You know, I like how you just said to me, 
you know, um, broadly people do not understand. Uh, and, yeah. it, and it shocks me because as I look at the research that is that has maybe say the past five years, okay? So as you know, this first world, second world, which is where we are now, technically in South Africa, yeah. and then you then have the third world. So in the blog, I was raising the point of losers and winners. Okay? Mm. So f from what you will find is that unless somebody catches onto your consciousness, the way you have been able to derive this consciousness, and, and I'll, I'll tell you why I ask you this thing, because... It means in South Africa, you, you, you'd have two ways in which you can adapt. Uh, out of individual agency, that you take the interest. And out of waiting for policy uh, to come and, and provide direction. But what I see really is that a lot of people, and I was telling Togozo earlier on that, you know, it seems like you've got two types of people. People who... Um, upon knowing about these technologies, cannot necessarily even think about them from the point of view of the fourth industrial revolution. It's just technology <laughs> that, that, yeah, that is technology that is available for people to use. I was saying in the blog that, that the problem with South Africans is that to a large degree, we, we, we are at a end user level with the technology. Uh, at a level where we are asking, what it, what can it do for me? As in, can I send pictures? Can I do it whatsoever? Uh, but not at, what can I use to scale? How can I use this technology to scale up whatever it is that I'm doing? So there's there's not been that transference into the applications of this technology yeah, yeah. Uh, in the long term. Mm -hmm. We have one. Uh, and so for me, yeah. that's, that's really what shocks me. And what you also raised was to say, you know, you want to see government doing something beyond the policy yeah. discussions. And I agree with you because um, I ask myself that if government already knows that the, the potential of the technology, for example, to accelerate SMME development, uh, such as your SMME, I mean, look at how your platform is actually just solving so many things and it's not just only you there's a lot and it's so practical and it's so practical it's so very use. practical like people have events yeah. weddings birthday parties so so, so 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 maybe as we we are about to go to, to 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 conclusion um you have said government you know must try and get through to give us a a strategy because they are working on that and of course it's late but be that as it may um, what do you think they must do specifically uh, in the SMME industry? Because I can tell you that uh, business is the one that actually is the driver of the fourth industrial revolution. And the limitations that will come to whether the workforce or whether it will come to society in general will come from business decisions because there's a buyers of the technology, they're the applicants. Especially the private sector. Especially the private sector. So with the SMMEs, the opportunity becomes rather about how can they scale up their businesses, okay? What new innovations can they bring? What I was saying to Ndogo is say, we've got a lot of problems, yes, an ailing economy, and I was saying to him, but here is where the problem of the logic of thinking in South Africa is, uh, policy thinking, is that you think you can pack things. Uh, uh, in, in the concept of development, you can't pack things. Things are already interconnected. So you can't say, okay, let's pack the fourth industrial revolution uh, to, to a council to be busy uh, thinking about what shall happen. By the time they release a report, um, certain events would have matched to make some of the information Reductive, useless. useless. You, you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So I was saying to him, no, rather integrate uh, certain actions as you are saying, for example, SMME development in the broader response to uh, policy. So as you are working policy, there are actions you can take. And I agree with you. So which specific actions would you want them to take uh, maybe give me on three levels, if you can. 
I, I think government should be able to provide um, SMEs with platforms in which uh, we can be able to put our work out there or to showcase our work where people can find us easily because I think that, that that's another issue is that um, we're having people looking for services and they don't know where exactly to begin mm. in South Africa to look for those services. So mm. maybe they can provide us with platforms that support the fourth industrial revolution with new technologies that can process information much faster so that it reaches people that are looking for these types of services mm. is much easier and much quicker. Mm. I think that would be the one thing. Mm. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I also understand that there is technology that's driven by the fourth industrial revolution that is already disrupting some industries across South Africa. But I think the government can do more. Mm. But maybe uh, I feel we should also take it upon ourselves to, to bring ourselves up to speed with what's happening mm around the world technology wise mm. what is this industrial revolution can we unpack it for ourselves yes. and then maybe mm. we take it from there to, to try and understand okay this is what's happening but how is the government going to support us yes. um yeah i agree with well, that thank, and, thank you very much i mean that and, that, that is that's, that's so that is exactly the kind of uh, you know solutions driven perspectives from ama SMME such as yourself that we seek, uh, and that this this social portal really uh, uh, snare is intended to be an off-site social platform for us to really share. We are born so that we we, yeah. we we are not always waiting for government perspective. We shall share it, of course. But um, what what has happened with the countries, the lead countries, the seven lead countries that. Uh, excel with these technologies was that this came from people so 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 I, I would say where I'm sitting that um, I encourage you and uh, I believe if you put your mind to it the the digital um, invitation yeah. is not the only thing you can do digitally yeah. uh, I, I, I see yeah. I see your business growing um, but Please, as I also say, with this capacity, um, you know that there will be people that will lose jobs. Uh, how do you intend to transfer? Just as the last one, I'm sneaking that question in. How do you intend to transfer that kind of uh, a technology and even your, your own zeal um, to, to maybe uh, friends of your sister or... or, or uh, uh, partners that you might have or affiliates that you might have in the SMME industry? Um, how, how do I intend to transfer? Sorry, can you please repeat? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to check that um, your consciousness around skills transfer. Because one of the things yeah. that will happen is that uh, uh, people who already are in business and using these technologies would have to have employees that actually are at some power even at a higher level than them as uh, the business owners so so as i know you will grow uh, is there a strategy you have in mind of of transfer perhaps of of, of skills of building your your own employees um a cap a capacity um not at the moment it's not something that i've thought of at the moment but in, in the way that we have um, built this business up until now, it's really out of creativity because um, we, we didn't learn these skills at a special academy or institution elsewhere. It's, it's generally like mm. natural creativity that we bring to the table. Mm. Mm. Right. So okay. I, I, I feel in my line of business, creativity is very important. Being able to think out of the box is really important. Oh, yes. And I, I think going forward, those are the type of people I would seek to employ. Um, not necessarily someone who's got a graphic design um, qualification mm. or something similar, but you know, being able to bring something different to the table, Innovate. being able to be creative. That's fantastic. Okay, Sne, just as we're being, wrapping up, uh, being able to. Yes. Sorry, um, ju just also to add, just being able to be technology 
savvy and you know being aware of what technology is capable of and how it can disrupt many industries and how um, it can impact lives of many how we can make differences in people's lives you know that's yes. awesome that's, that's awesome. awesome as we're wrapping up Sinajanda, just in case anyone missed uh those contact details of yours you said they can get a hold of you on social media at yeah, they can get hold of me on social media platforms on uh, facebook yeah. and instagram at infinite creations mm-hmm. the creations is spelled cr H-T-I-O-N-S, Infinite Creations. Mm -hmm. Um, Our contact number is 061-471-8039. And then our email address is infinitecreations at gmail.com. That's awesome. And for Um, anyone, yes. Sorry, sorry to cut you off. Just just to add, as much as we do digital invitations, Mm -hmm. we also do... um, those hard copy cards because again mm. i'm going back to the topic of okay. digital not many people understand what digital mm, yes, is yes, so please. just to cater for the needs of other our other yes, customers yes. that might require cards yes. we are able to do that as well because we do understand not everyone has whatsapp in this day and age mm. not everyone understands technology not mm. everyone has an email address so we also do cater by um creating those cards those invitation cards Mm-hmm. So you've Great got all strategy. the tables covered up. You yeah, can do yeah. digital and you can do traditional. That's fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. that was Nentan Mazibugo from Infinite Creations. Um, just in case you want to talk to us here at, 4IR, at SA4IR South Africa as well, you can get a hold of us at, on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is SA4IR Porta, uh, Portal. And then our Facebook page is SA4IR Social Portal. You can WhatsApp us as well on 078-074-7603. This is your host, Ndogo Zomtembu, signing out with my co-host, Branel. We'll see them next time. No? Thank you very much. And thank you, Sne. Thank and, you so much. Uh, and, and good luck. Um, I hope maybe soon we shall be thinking of something new. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for having me on the show. Um, thank you for everything. That's fantastic. fantastic. Thank you very, thank you very much. much. Anyway, see you guys and tune in for the next episode of SA4IR Social Portal. Peace out. Good afternoon to our listeners. Welcome to the fourth Industrial Revolution here on SA4IR podcast. You're joining me and my co-host Branel here. And uh, yeah, welcome back. Branel, welcome back. No, thank you very much, Ndogozo. And uh, we are excited again. Another yeah. podcast, another episode to discuss this uh, important topic called the fourth Industrial Revolution. Uh, as you had said, today we have a special guest, uh, somebody that uh, will also put, help us put some meat into this whole um, movement called the Fourth Industrial Revolution. And we're totally excited to have her. Sne, introduce yourself. How are you doing over that side? Good day, everyone. Good day, listeners. I'm good. And how are you, um, Dogozo so and Neo? We're good. We're good. good we're good. You. And we're good. so excited to have you on the podcast. You're actually our first guest. So trust me, excited is exactly what we are today. I'm very excited too. In fact, I'm very flattered. Tell us more about yourself. Where are you, Sne? And what do you do? And how is it that you are here? Are you a small business owner? Are you employed somewhere? Are you doing something? Who's Snedlanta exactly? Okay, my name is Snedlanta Mazibugo, Sne for short. Mm. I'm a small business owner. Yes. Um, I run a business called Infinite Creation Events. Wow. So okay. what we do? Yeah. <laughs> Um, what we do basically is um, we design um, digital invitations. We also offer a full range of event stationery, and we also do gifting just for about any event. Digital so invitations, we start okay. Small, mm. yeah. 
we we started very small in um 2015 and we've just been building this business and we um officially registered our company uh this year in march so we've been operating from march and uh, it's been an incredible journey you know learning so much about business learning so much about um running a business running a company um interacting with the different types of people the customers so yeah that's where we are right now we are based in mid uh we also based in the northern cape at the moment wow. but uh we're more than happy to work with anyone worldwide and i think that's just the beauty of technology you're able to connect with people all around the world exactly. so yeah it doesn't mean that just because we're based in mid we we only de- dealing with um, customers that are based to Midrand as well. No, we we connect with people in Durban, in Limpopo, anywhere around the world. So that's just the beauty of technology nowadays. That's fantastic. You talked about digital invitations. Like for someone like me, I don't host a lot of things. All I know about invitations is that it's normally like in a gift card sort of, uh, not gift card, man, like those flyer type things. What's a digital oh, invitation? Just- so a digital invitation, it's it's not your typical hard copy or a card that you can physically hand over to someone. Okay. It's something, as I said, dealing with technology, something that uh, um, I can send via my phone to someone maybe who's in the USA. Wow, okay. Just as an example. Mm. Yeah, sending by means of social media or by means of email.